Hi there, in this video I'm going to take you through time interpolation. Sounds like we're going some sort of like back to the future, but we're taking this footage, which is not in slow motion, to watch this. Look how smooth and nice it is. We're going to fake slow motion using time interpolation. I'll show you the good ways and the bad ways. Let's jump in and do it. Okay, to get started, I've got a new project. Uh, I have got a folder in your exercise files called slow mo. Uh, let's bring in one, two, three, just to I want to show you quickly. It's a bit of a recap from the Essentials course, I know. I know not everyone has done it, and there's some extra information piled in here. You'll notice that I've got three of them. Okay, I'm on list view, so I can see uh, the frame rate. This one here, this first one, let's open it up in my source monitor, has no, we're going to fake slow motion with this one in a sec. There is nothing slow mo about it. We're going to try and magic some up from nowhere. The second one here is being recorded, okay, in slow motion. And it's given you, can you see it's been given to us in a frame rate that's not slow motion. Okay, the footage is in slow motion though. So we have it. Okay, the difference between that one and this one is this one has slow motion. Okay, but it plays normally. But it has would... all these extra frame rates in there that we can spread out. So this one, let's say they were both recorded on the same camera. You can tell your camera to whether it produces a normal frame rate but with super slow mo already in it or with your camera produces uh, a footage that is the you know normal <laughs> life, real life footage, but there is the ability to stretch it out with the frames per second. All right, so we're gonna start with messing with this one. So slow-mo one, drag it into a new sequence, uh, backslash so we can fill it all up. I'm gonna mute mine. What I wanna do is we're gonna show you just a couple of the different versions. So I'm gonna copy and paste this clip a few times just so I can show you the different types of frame blending. All right, so this one here, I'm going to go right click it, select it, right click it and say speed and duration. Okay, and speed, do you want it to be double the speed? Okay, 200% or half the speed, 50%. I always get that confusing. You keep an eye on the duration. You can force it by typing in a duration as well. Okay, and time interpolation is the kind of, uh, the term we're looking at here. So we'll start with frame sampling. Okay, we'll do the next one. We need a bit more space here. Let's go. Uh, let's do this one here. This one's frame blending. I want it to be 50%. Yeah, 50%. Go and let's do, I don't need a third one, a fourth one. This one here, I'm going to say you are speed duration. Let's go to optical flow. The best one. Always use optical flow, nearly always. So frame sampling just duplicates the footage, okay? It makes two frames out of where there was one. So let's zoom in a little bit, okay? Uh, let's move forward with our arrow keys, left and right. So one, two, one, two. Can you see it just duplicated them to fill the gap? So it is slow-mo, but it's really rough looking. Old school slow-mo. Okay, so that's not what we want. Frame blending is another kind of weird one. Uh, what it tries to do is, let's zoom in, so I'm using my left and right arrow, it kind of uses half of one and half of the next one. To actually be able to preview the one called frame blending and optical flow, you need to render it. You see it's red, so it's not going to give us a true uh, representation of it yet. It's just going to look pretty bad. So let's render it. You remember how the enter key or render effects in and out. Okay, so let's have a little look at how it worked. So what do we got? The first one, which is just duplicating it. This one here now, can you see there's that frame? And if I go forward two, in between, it's gonna half smush the two of them. Okay, and it's better, but it's really milky and yuck. And then frame uh, optical flow, Ooh. don't ask me how it does it, but every frame is somehow a new frame. I don't know how it does it, but wow, it is amazing. So I guess the moral of the story is go straight to optical flow. Sometimes, occasionally, there'll be some weird artifacts where it starts blobbing out, and then you might have to switch to um, probably frame blending. All right, so that's uh, time interpolation, uh, looking at the different ways of blending frames. Okay, optical flow obviously is the best, but now you know what they all do, and we're all up to speed now, so we can get into some more detailed slow motion goodness. How good is that? Ooh. All right, uh, see you in the next video.
All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do wanna go further with Premiere Pro, you might wanna join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.